Hey guys, day three of Shots are here in Las Vegas. Um, today we're joined by Dion, and we're going to be talking about uh, play target guns. Dion brought three of them. He calls it good, better, best. They're all great, obviously. Dion, why good, better, and best? Well, uh, it's, we've got a few different products here. We've got the uh, A400 Excel, which is a semi-automatic shotgun. And it's really geared towards a person that wants to have a great performing semi-automatic uh, capability for sporting play, which cuts down on the recoil significantly. What we have here actually on the semi-automatic is the kickoff system, which is a dual hydraulic piston, three suspension springs, which takes 60% of the felt recoil out of the equation. In addition, we have a new improved gas system on our A400 that is far superior to our 391 series to the point where it'll actually cycle over 10,000 rounds without a cleaning. Wow. And in addition, it's 36% faster cycling than anything currently on the market. In addition, we added a small little palm swell so that your hand doesn't squeeze too tightly when you're actually gripping the shotgun. We have a Beretta balance system that you can actually change the weight balance of the shotgun, whether you want it to be a little bit more forward heavy to keep you nice and steady through your swing. So do, does it come with more than one uh, cap or do you buy the cap separately? It comes with just the lightweight, but we also make two heavier weights so that you can increase the mass forward. So that way, if you need to slow down your swing, in order to keep a more steady swing for your follow through shots. And so the caps can be bought at one of our dealers or at BerettaUSA.com, I assume? That's correct. Okay. So what's up with the uh, blue receiver? Uh, the blue is actually victory blue. Uh, it's Beretta's kind of colors for championship series. And we really want you to kind of stand out when you're shooting. When you're on the podium with your medals or your trophies, everybody's going to know what you shot. You mean business? Absolutely. Very good. So this is the, the good part of the good, better, best. Absolutely. In addition, there's one other feature that we actually have an option. It's not present on this particular model here, but we have an electronic gun pod that you can put on this unit. What that gun pod features is a shell counter that has a couple additional counters so you can keep track of your daily shots. In addition, it has an overall counter for the shotgun. How that's useful is you can actually get a maintenance schedule. As a high volume competition shooter, you can really utilize that system to make sure your gun is operating at the optimal performance. Very nice. And in addition, it's got a recoil force indicator. So if you're trying out different loads, you can find out if the burn rates and powder charges are consistent. Wow, so it's a real computer, it's not just a counter. Absolutely. Very nice, very nice. What else have you brought us? Uh, well, I'll take this for you. Okay, thank you. What we have here is actually our 692. This is our new replacement for the 682 family. Uh, this has actually been launched uh, this week here at SHOT Show. And what we have here is actually a wider receiver than the 682. It's actually 1.3 millimeters wider. What that gives you is a better balance between your hands, faster target acquisition, and just a more streamlined, centrally balanced approach. We have a vented barrel here. You'll remember that from the 682 series. Keeps them nice, light, ventilated, and it has a nice, little bit light, lighter appearance up in the uh, in the swing. In addition, three quarters the length of the barrel is actually a uh, we've uh, extended out the uh, what's called the Steelium Plus barrels, and three quarter length of the barrel is actually a tapered bolt. The advantage with that is is that you get a better pattern because you don't get as much pellet deformation, a lot less muzzle rise on your barrels. And in addition, you get a lot less felt recoil overall. A couple additional features. We have replaceable shoulders that are lengthened and longer. So it's actually a little bit more secure lockup. And we have the capability of changing ejectors to extractors with a quarter turn of a flathead screwdriver. Wow. So if you don't like to catch your shells, they'll just pop and sit right there for you to pull them out. Very nice. So it's a little customizable even in the field. Absolutely. We have the new V-Fast uh, adjustable cone, which is metal plates, rings, and rods. Very secure lockup, very easy to adjust, and that way you can actually get this gun fitting to you exactly perfectly, so that way when you're shooting, it's not going to be the fit anymore. I also see there's a little here on the uh, on the um, uh, release lever. Yep, it's, this is texturized and rubberized. What's going on with that? Uh, yes, it's actually a polymer cover pressed into the metal. And when you're shooting, 
constantly, your thumb gets kind of chewed up sometimes because of the, the heavier metal. So this polymer tip actually makes it a little bit lighter and easier to grab and softer on your thumb when you're opening it on a constant basis. Interesting. They really thought about every single detail as they developed the gun. We did. And very, very nice. There's one additional feature that every sporting shooter is going to love in this gun. It's called the B-Fast Adjustable Weight System in the stock itself. Okay, how does that work? Well, you remove this single pad right here with two Phillips head screws, and there is steel washers that fit in here with adjustable weights, so you can change the weight balance of this gun, whether you need it to be more forward heavy or more back heavy. What that allows you to do is get this gun perfectly fit to your swing characteristics and perfectly fit to your face. So that way, this shotgun will perform exactly how you want it. So we have the semi-automatic, for those that prefer semi-automatic, more of an entry-level price. For the serious, not just weekend shooter, you got the 692, the evolution of the 682. By the way guys, one of the things that you haven't seen is the fact that the campaign of the 692 features an Elvis Presley because the tagline is uh, the new legend in uh, clay target shooting, something like that. Absolutely. And through the three days of uh, SHOT Show, we've had uh, our booth invaded by Elvis Presley playing all sorts of songs. In fact, they're going to do it in maybe a half hour they're going to be back here. So we got the semi-automatic, we got the over and under, which is the better. What's the best? Why is the DT-11 the ultimate in competition shooting? Very simply, what we have is an Olympic grade professional shotgun. It's a continuation evolution of our DT-10 series. However, we've taken the DT-10 to a whole nother level. The DT-10 which won the last two Olympics. Absolutely. And it's won more medals than, than any other shotgun. Absolutely. What we have actually is the Steelium Pro Barrel. First thing, from the monoblock down to the choke seat, it's a 100% fully tapered board. Starts out at a 772 and gradually tapers down to a 733. So what that does for you is it acts like one giant forcing cone. Again, less muzzle rise, less felt recoil. We also have a re increased size of the palm swivel. What that's useful for, so you're not over gripping the shotgun when you're actually doing it. When you tend to over grip, you can actually jerk the shotgun. So by increasing that diameter, we're taking that out of the equation. So let's go back to the Stilio Pro barrel. Yep. Is it true that in addition to having less uh, muzzle rise and felt recoil, what's also happening is you have improved patterns because the uh, shot pattern comes out more evenly uh, and more predictably out of the barrel? Absolutely. You're not getting as much deformation because of the lead shot and it's got a more gradual casing to move down so you get a tighter, crisper pattern. So you're going to really dust those clays at even further distances. Pretty cool. What else is going on with the DT11? Uh, well, on this side you can actually see we've got the uh, cross bolt locking system, which is one of the most secure lockups known to exist, uh, which is actually up on the top of the receiver. So it still gives us that low profile design, but again, the most secure lockup system known to exist. We also have our adjustable trigger, just like the 692, so if you need to fine tune for your actual finger length, you can shorten it up an eighth of an inch, or you can increase it an eighth of an inch. So that way this, this fit for your trigger finger will be more perfect. We also have a detachable trigger system. Why that's useful is if let's say you're in a competition. Let's say you started the gun, you started the competition with this gun. If for whatever, for whatever reason that the mechanism fails, which it shouldn't, but it a mechanical device, it does happen. What you can actually do is remove this trigger group, pop in a new one, and you're ready to go because you're ending the competition with the gun that you started with. So that meets the current requirements that allow you to continue on and you don't have to drop out of your, out of your uh, competition. So top to bottom, front to back, really a virtually new gun. Everything has been determined and improved based on our experience in the past. One of the things that we haven't mentioned that I think is worth mentioning is the fact that we talk often about barrels. Barrels are important to Beretta because in 1526, when we started manufacturing, we were barrel makers before we were anything else. So Absolutely. if there's one thing that we know how to do better than anything else, it is barrels. Absolutely. And barrels do make a difference in competition, do you know? Yes, they do, very much so. Your barrels will influence everything from your pattern to actually how much recoil you're gonna get in the end. Excellent. So we got state champion, national champion, 
and world champion. No more excuses not to have a Beretta when you go target shooting. Absolutely. Dion, thank you so much. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on BerettaUSA.com. And check back uh, later on this week for more videos. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.